Morning everybody, Matt Zerby here from Wasco Nursery and just wanted to come to you this morning and talk just a little bit uh, about uh, pollinator gardens. I'm going to turn the camera around here. I just want to kind of show you this, uh, this little garden right here. And uh, as you can see, here's our parking lot and then just right next to it, I have this raised bed which uh, is approximately eight feet across. Um, and this particular section starting here by the water feature and going down to that evergreen is about eh, maybe 20, 25 feet long. And um, if, we, uh, if we look at it, you can see that uh, I've got a real good mix of plant material in here. And uh, just kind of starting off, there's a wild onion. Uh, there's prairie alum root right there in the middle, just getting ready to bloom. There's uh, some different zizias with the yellow flowers. Those are uh, uh, metal parsnips. I've got, uh, this is a, a summer blooming garden phlox, uh, native phlox. And uh, coming down here, we've got prairie drop seed. There's some uh, coneflower, there's some different rudbeckias. I've got three different types of milkweed in here. Um, but this uh, right in the back there is uh, wild false indigo or wild indigo um, all the way in the back. And uh, this section here, there's some prairie dock uh, off in the distance there, that larger uh, leafed plant over there. Um, spiderwort is kind of the bluish colored plant right in here. I've got my little weather station in the middle. And uh, but so this this entire area is just a pollinator haven. And um, as things are just getting ready to bloom here in uh, in Illinois, the butterflies and hummingbirds are all over this uh, this bed on a regular basis, even though it's just a nice small bed. So I have people tell me, you know, I don't want to. Uh, I don't have a big yard, I'm, I can't do a, a big prairie or whatever, but uh, a pollinator garden um, doesn't necessarily have to be a native garden. There are some uh, um, great native plants, of course, that the pollinators love, and you will attract those pollinators to your garden uh, with these plants. But this is just a great example of how easy it, it can be and what a nice area it can be. I love the fact that it's bordered by brick and raised up and uh, plants don't have anywhere to go. So they just pretty much stay put and uh, I love it. So hope you enjoy. If you ever have any questions about um, what type of plants are right for your location, uh, as far as attracting pollinators like uh, honeybees and bumblebees, hummingbirds, moths, butterflies, of course, uh, come, come see us. We have uh, some great resources that we would love to give you. Uh, for free and then of course we have uh, some beautiful plant material uh, that we would love to sell you so hope you enjoyed watching take care